Welcome, good afternoon. This is your News for Now update. I'm Kay Ingram. And the man wanted for a series of anti Semitic hate crimes in Queens is now in custody. The crimes involve swastikas on sidewalks in front of synagogues and schools. News 4's Romney Smith is in Kew Gardens with what we've learned. Well, the good news is that police have identified the suspect they believe was drawing swastikas, but the bad news, he's been released and is now out, leaving people concerned that he could continue to draw them even more. Take a look at this exclusive video that we have of Antoine Blount being walked out of the 112th police precinct. He is charged with at least one hate crime, and actually a News 4 viewer is the one who saw our story last week and called it into police. Because of these actions and the general rise of anti-Semitic incidents nationally, Wide, the Jewish Security Alliance of New York and New Jersey say they plan to share intelligence, resources, and more to protect synagogues, schools, community centers, and other Jewish institutions. Of course, the goal of that is to make sure they can better protect Jewish citizens. We are reporting in Kew Gardens, Queens, Romney Smith, News for New York. Got it. Thanks, Romney. Now, as you might know, it's Women's History Month. And later this week, the first woman owned cannabis dispensary will open in Queens. There will be a pop up for the Good Grades Dispensary on Jamaica Avenue near 162nd Street. It's the first dispensary to open outside of Manhattan. The business is supported by the New York Social Equity Cannabis Investment Fund. It opens to the public on Thursday at 2 p.m. In New Jersey, Bed Bath & Beyond will cut nearly 1,300 jobs in stores and warehouses across the state. That's according to a notice filed with state regulators. Some jobs at the corporate headquarters in Union are also being slashed. The move is an effort to avoid bankruptcy as the retail chain struggles with finances. Bed Bath & Beyond also plans to eliminate all 50 of its Harmon stores. Also in New Jersey, two professional sports stars are teaming up to bring a new golf course to the Garden State. LA Angels player Mike Trout and golf champion Tiger Woods announced yesterday plans to build a new private golf club in South Jersey, where Trout was born. The 18-hole course will be designed by Woods and his firm, TGR Design. It'll be called Trout National, the Reserve, and construction is slated to begin later this year. All right, we're staying in New Jersey because that's where hundreds of thousands of people can expect to get money as soon as today. It's all part of a property tax rebate program. It's called the Anchor Property Tax Relief Program, and people who applied and chose the direct deposit option could see the money hit their account today. Paper checks will be mailed out next week, and most of the payments are expected to be sent out by May 3rd. And now we move to Connecticut, where starting today, the public will have a chance to weigh in on a state bill that would provide student debt relief for certain professions. The measure would provide up to $20,000 over four years in student debt relief. Now to qualify, you must be working as a nurse, a teacher, or in mental health or social services. The pilot program would be limited to those who went to a state school or university. What was once an empty parking lot in the Bronx, or an empty lot, is now a new green space for the community. The city celebrated the multi-million dollar makeover of what is now the new Corporal Irwin Fisher Park. It sits along West 107th Street in the hybrid section. The park includes a playground, seating area, and spray showers. The space had been vacant for decades, long before the city acquired the land back in 1995. And it's turning into a nice day to head to the playground. We have clearing skies. The rain is gone from the city anyway. Showers do return. You can see in your weather headlines as we head towards the end of the week. And then we're looking at some warm weather heading into the weekend. I'll show you that in the 10-day forecast. Claryville, the sun is back out. And yes, there is still snow on the ground there. And it is chilly right now. Temperatures in the Hudson Valley only in the low 40s in many spots. Live storm tracker 4 showing that rain exiting off to the east. But we still have rain now falling across Suffolk County. So a little damp there. It's cool today. It'll be cool for the Yanks home opener on Thursday as well. Take a look at these temperatures. First pitch, 45 degrees and breezy. Yeah, it'll be sunny, but it's going to feel a little bit more like winter as the Yanks are taking on the Giants, hoping for a good win there, and uh, temperatures heading home back to the low 50s. Lots of daylight today. Enjoy it. 12 hours and 30 minutes, and we have increasing sunshine heading into the afternoon. You can see in our exclusive 10-day forecast tomorrow, back to near average with a high temperature of 56 degrees. Again, Yanks home opener on Thursday. Chilly for that, and then we have some hours by the end of the week and the start of the weekend looks warm but damp with a high temperature of 70 degrees on Saturday. Okay. All right. Great to know. Thanks, Rafi. Go Yankees. Well, that's it for now. I'm Kay Ingram.